Effects, this is Mark here from Street Effects. Today we're on our way down to GD Auto Garage because we're going to finally get to see what our Toyota 86 can actually do at the wheels. This time running E85 fuel instead of 98 and also on top of that we're going to run proper amount of boost. So probably like 25, 30 pound. One of our good friends, Josh from MCA Suspension, he's also got a VR38 in his Toyota 86 as well and it recently put down around a thousand horsepower at the wheels. We're going to be shooting for more than that so I guess we'll see what we can do. Ooh, the car's not on the dyno yet. Maybe it's too early. gearbox alone is so loud it like whines like crazy it's because it's got a straight cut gear set by Albans uh, it's a sequential six speed with paddle shifters it's extremely loud so it's got to make this huge whining sound like a supercharger all the time this car is like makes such crazy noises it's awesome I love it all right so what have we done we'll put a bit of preload on the um, waste gates to yeah. give a bit more boost. Yeah, um, we're having issues with the boost controller. Yeah, but that's a tomorrow job. So we're yeah. just gonna yeah. we put we should be about a bit over 20 pounds now, 22 pounds. Yeah. So we'll see how we go. Cool. And drag radials uh, thanks to Arthur at Tuna's Edge they're going on uh, we have 
a set of Pirelli slicks, full slicks, to go on another set of rims. And we've got a set of Hankook Z221s, thanks to Hankook Australia and Gary's Motorsport tyres, all stuffed in the back of this uh, van that I've borrowed from GT Auto while they weren't looking. Here we are at McElray's. And there's always some cool cars in here. It's a bit wet today, so you're not going to see much outside, but we'll go around the back. There we go. They race a lot of Porsche Cup and GT cars here. Ooh. Let's have a look inside. All right, we just pulled into McElray's Racing, and we're getting the uh, all the tyres fitted up now. So we're going to have a quick look around in here while uh, while that's being done. And we'll chat to some of the boys and see uh, some of the pretty cool uh, goodies that they got in this shop. All right, well, this is Matt. He's running away, but... <laughs> Hi. G'day. All right, well, show us some of the cool cars you guys have got in here. Okay, what do we got here? So we've got a uh, Porsche 997. Yep. Um, we've used by Brett Bolton this year for Cup Challenge. Uh, up on the hoist, we have a Porsche 991, which is used for Cup Challenge next year. Michael Hovey's. School car one. Oh, it's a, a, a drive red sort of. Yes, correct. Yep. yep. So it belongs to Porsche Cars Australia okay. and Porsche School Car Two. So we run two school cars out of here. Yep. And there's the one that we sponsored. That's the but one. But you there. pulled our sticker off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this used to. I swear it used to say three effects along here. It, it did. did. It, it did. did. Yeah. <laughs> it's now in the bin, but yeah. yeah. So that was the car used by Jackson Evans this yep. year. He did very well, didn't he? Yes. Extremely well, extremely well. So that there will go to Cup Challenge. So this is year. rubbing is racing. Is that what that's from? Yeah, that one's very minor. Yeah. <laughs> we got the boss on the job today though. Yeah. yeah. First day. Yeah. yeah. First day working. <laughs> Been here a long time. First day working. So this is just for the camera? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> and then up there we have a 997. Um, was involved in a crash at the last round of Phillip Island, so that's just been rebuilt. And then further down here we have um, something for the special projects department. This is not a usual thing to see no, in no, here. Can't take the wraps off this no, yet. That's... They, uh, can't release them to the public as yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but one of these we can. So this yep. is a McLaren 650S. Now these make less power than the road ones, don't they? Because of the restrictors. Yes, correct. Very restricted to, uh, to make them. So what are they around in the 500s, something yeah, like that's, that? That's yeah, that's about all they are. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So they, they're in a class with natural aspirated V8s, where this is a twin turbo V8. Yeah. And I think uh, when I was here the other day, you can actually see the restrictors. There they are. Yeah, there's one over the other side there. Yeah. And so that works by just restricting the airflow yeah, so to make it an even playing field or attempt yeah, to. Yeah. So there's yeah. about a 30 mil hole in the air as the restrictors. 30 mil, Jesus, that's yeah. not much. <laughs> yep, it's all this here. Carbon fiber tub completely. Roll cage is bolted in. Fuel cell down in the back under there. Nice. Nice. Uh, well, thanks very much for running us through these. We're going to catch up with the, the tyre fitting bloke. Yep. And uh, we'll no doubt see some more cool stuff down the other corner. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. All right, over here we've got the... These are the drag radials that are going on. So these are Mickey Thompson ET Streets. Got a pair of Koya Drift Tech wheels for those. Um, that was freshly painted by Cameron's Body Works. So this will hopefully give us a bit of extra traction for the race, the roll race against the uh, Formula 1 car. We're getting, these rims are being fitted up with these slicks, which originally I believe were from a Porsche Cup car. So we got four slicks. So these rims are going to be fitted up with those. These are Koya rims as well. And uh, we have the, the tyre expert over there <laughs> doing his job and I'm probably getting in his way and these are the uh, the Hankook semi slicks that we've got these uh, old tires are no good anymore so we're gonna be putting these brand new ones on thanks to Hankook and Gary's Motorsport tires all right so we're now leaving McElroy's we managed to get most of it done but these Hankooks have such a tough sidewall they were struggling getting them on the rims so now I'm going to drop them down to option one who have a different tyre machine. Alright, just go back to GT Auto now. We're going to still take some of those rims and tyres. So these are going to go down now to option one, giving away some of these tyres as well. But while we're here, it sounds like they've got the TDR on the dock.
Okay, so now picking up the car with its new suspension setup from Accurate Suspension and off back to GT the car goes but I am heading to option one with all these in the back of the BMW. The multi-purpose vehicle, who needs a van? Alright, just uh, rocked up to option one now and let's get these tyres on the rims. Apparently this is the way to, to do these with a lot less struggle. So Pauly from option one is uh, more lube, man. More lube. There's always time for lube. Fuck, that was so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've just got into GD Auto with our rims thanks to Option One Garage. And we've got the 86 in the middle of getting uh, its final touches done. So we're just gonna uh, load these rims onto the car. The car will go back on the dyno and let's get some um, good power figures from it, finally. What's up, Dave? All right, now we're getting these rims ready. Hey. With the professional painter. This is our uh, rim painting service. <laughs> Just so the rest of the rims match. These are the slicks that we're going to be running for the circuit. Alright, well, after the 32's finished getting done, the 86 is back on the dyno, and um, we're going to see how she performs on E85 with 30 pound, or maybe 25 to 30, something like that. We'll see how reliable she can be. So, we'll see how much power we can get out of this first, and then we're going to move to that. Dave, are we happy with our dyno figures? The owner is. Um, yeah. No, it's been a good, um, finally, once the dyno cooled down. Well, because we, we yeah. broke it. No, well, <laughs> sort after, of. after numerous runs of 950 to 1000 horsepower with, you know, 900 to 1000 meters of torque, it tends to get a little bit warm. Yeah. It wasn't uh, happy with us? No. So then, yeah, once it cooled down, um, yeah, it got a, well, went to 7800 and making 1105 horsepower yeah and um just um, since it's still a fairly new motor we were it's still, still got more in it hey i looked at the graph and it seems to it still well, seems to be yeah. heading up <laughs> oh no we don't want to risk it because we we've got a we place to, to be we're going to be in adelaide in like a couple five, days five days <laughs> yeah and um so now we just um pulled it up there and um yeah which yeah. is more than enough for Tim Slade and Todd Hazelwood to have fun with. It'll be more than enough for these tyres. Any tyres, probably. Yeah, so no, other than that, no, I haven't went well. Um, really impressed with the little HKS Tolos. Yeah, which and, are only um, meant to make, what, a thousand or something? Well, they're rated to a thousand plus, so yeah. I know the guys in the States are making some good numbers out of them. Um, but um, again, the efficiency of the uh, JHH motor will come into effect on that and how responsive and 
how much top end it's got. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Well, I'm keen to see what it does on the track. Oh yeah, it'll be very interesting. Well, uh, if you if you if you send us some videos of it going up and down the street. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So there we go. We've um, finally had her on the dyno. And now the, the GDR is back on the dyno, if you notice, because uh, it didn't quite get finished before. So, 1105 horsepower at the wheels. That's what I really wanted to see. Dave wanted more, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't talk much. Um, so there we go, we're just uh, we're off to Adelaide now, um, and uh, we'll see how she goes on the track. All right, thanks guys, catch us. <laughs>